In this video, we're going to focus on managing learners. Let's jump in. I'd like you to imagine that you and I have been made the administrators of the CBT Nuggets content for our company. And the first order of business is, of course, congratulations. So we got an email and it says, congratulations, you're an administrator. If we didn't yet have an account, we'd get an email that says, click here to go ahead and set up your password. So after logging in, in the upper right hand corner, we would see our name. And you simply click on that for a drop down menu. And one of the drop down menu options says your account. So we click on that. And then from this page that comes up, we simply select the option called da -da -da -da, manage learners. So from here, we'd simply put the name in. So for example, let's say we have Russell Short as one of our lucky employees who's going to have the opportunity of being a viewer and watch the entire library at CBT Nuggets. And maybe at our company, we use the first two initials of the first name and the last name. So Russell would be, are you short? <laughs> <laughs> so Russell would be, are you short? And he hates giving out his email because people always take offense. Like you asking me if I'm short? No, that's my email. Are you short? In any event, the other thing we'd want to do is go ahead and enable him for access to videos simply by checking this checkbox right here. Now, the other option that we do have, if we are not going to be the only administrator, we could go ahead and simply check the checkbox for admin and also make Russell an administrator. So he could go in and add additional users up to the number of licenses that we have. And then our last step is to click on this little button called Add Learner and poof, it all happens automatically. Russell will be sent an email indicating that he has got an account at CBT Nuggets. He'll click on a link to set up his password and then he is off to the races. One of the challenges that we might have is how do we know exactly what the learners are watching and if they're taking advantage of this really cool resource that we've provided for them. And one option right here is use the reports option. And that way we can build reports and take a look at what videos are being watched by whom so with insight as to who's watching the videos and taking advantage of this really cool resource that can help influence our decision process. For example, if there's an opening for a network technician and we know that we have several people at the help desk who would like that position, maybe we go in and take a look and say, hey, you know what, Russell, he is killing it. He's watching Network Plus, he's watching CCNA, he's watching Security Plus, and we can get a feeling just by watching his study habits by what he's viewing that he is very, very motivated. And that very well may be the difference between the person that we promote to the network tech position and the person we leave at the help desk or whatever position it was in before we were considering them for a promotion. Another benefit of this is if we have a lot of learners and we look at the reports and we say, hey, you know, Jim isn't using the videos at all. And then we realize, hey, you know what? Jim doesn't work for us anymore. That'd be another great opportunity to maybe remove Jim as a learner, delete him, so we can use that license, for example, on a current employee that is very highly motivated. So as reinforcement, let's walk through a live demo of that exact process. So I'm logged in as Keith Barker, who is currently an administrator. I select my name and from the drop down menu, I select your account, which in that context, of course, means my account. Over on the left, I'm going to select manage learners. It indicates exactly how many learners I have remaining. If I want to purchase more learners or look at my current payment information on file or plans and pricing, I can look at any of those other links as well. So currently I don't have anybody set up as a viewer inside my system. So let's go ahead and add a learner. We'll click on the add a learner link and let's put in Bob and Bob Smith's email today is going to be, and we'll put in Bob Smith's temporary email for today anyway. Over here, we're going to select what his privileges are going to be. By default, video access is selected, but we could also make him an administrator. Or if we wanted to make him just an administrator and not give him directly video access, which wouldn't use a learner license, we could go ahead and click on add learner and it would make him an administrator. He would get an email, he'd set up a password, and he could come in and set up other administrators or other learners. So in this case, we want him to be a learner. So we'll give him video access and we'll click on add learner. So you'll notice now we have two learners left under video access. We have Bob Smith. And as soon as he goes into his email and clicks on the link and sets up a password, he'll be a verified user. And let's add one more just for fun. So we'll set up Lois Daugherty. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> and in a live system, we'd want to use the absolute correct email addresses for those individuals because they're going to get a welcome message and a link to set up their password. And let's also give Lois video access. We'll click on add learner. And now she is set up and you'll notice we have one learner license left. So the email that they would get would look something like this. In fact, this is the email I just received. Hi Lois, <laughs> you're invited to join CBT Nuggets. Click here to set up a password, which Lois would do. And once it's set up, she can log in and start enjoying and watching videos. Now, the other thing we might do if we have an extra license and we're thinking, hey, you know what? I would love to learn about networks and security and programming in Microsoft. 
So in this same section, if we go to no video access, currently the administrator, which happens to be me at the moment, I don't have any video access. So if I want to edit that, I click on the edit button and simply click on the link saying, hey, I would love video access. Click on update and now I too have video access. I'm currently using that third license, that third learner. So if we go to the video access tab, I've got myself, there's Bob and there's Lois. And it's currently showing that I'm the administrator. So from here, if I wanted to purchase additional learners, I could, or if I want to go in and create a new user as an admin only, not a viewer, I could do that as well. And of course we could edit any one of these to go ahead and change them. So as an example, let's say we have Bob here and we've decided for whatever reason that we are no longer going to have Bob be a viewer and have access to the videos. We simply click on edit next to his name. So from here, we'd simply click on delete to delete the Bob Smith account. Or if we wanted to make Bob Smith an admin, we could check that box. And then he would be an administrator who also has video access. In this case, we're going to go ahead and delete this learner. We'll say OK to the confirmation message. And now we're down to two learners and we have one learner remaining from our total of three that we purchased. So if we wanted to add a new learner again, we'd simply click on this button, put in the information for that new learner. There will be another orange button that we're going to use to confirm all that information. The email will be sent to that new learner and they can start using the system. And as I mentioned, the reports feature is really handy to get information regarding our learners, who's watching what, how much are they watching. And that gives us really good insight to how well the system's being used and which employees are taking advantage of this great resource. I have had a great time. I'm glad you joined me for this video. I wanted to point out a couple of other quick start videos that will help your learners get the most out of their CBT Nuggets experience. One is the Transcender Exam Quick Start video that teaches them how to use that tool and leverage it. And secondly, there's another video on using playlists, bookmarks, and notes that is going to be very, very helpful in getting your learners in and out and staying on track regarding the content and the technologies that they want to watch, learn, and conquer. Again, I've had a lot of fun. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.